Welcome chefs to Red Tail University Basics Recipes for Success. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your preferences within the CRM. So the first thing that we need to do is navigate to your name in the upper right hand corner and click on preferences. Now from here we can really get cooking with these preferences and the main thing that I want to remind you is that these preferences are yours and yours alone. The changes that you make here will only affect your CRM. The other thing worth noting is that this green save preferences button that appears throughout the preferences page is a great thing to click anytime that you make a change or before you navigate away from the page. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing that we're going to talk about is our default login screen. So when you log into the CRM, what would you like to see? Maybe it's your calendar or market news. Maybe you'd like to see your note dashboard or the today page. Our next section is the session timeout. From here, you can select after an activity, how soon you would like the session to end. Is that 10 or 15 minutes? Maybe all the way up to 60 or 90 minutes, or you can select to have an all day session. We can also select our time zone from here and our default contact screen. So if we would select contacts on the left hand side of our screen, what default screen would you like to see? Your favorites or your contacts A to Z? Maybe you'd like to go to quick lists. Our next section is activity management. Now, essentially what this means is whenever we create an activity within the CRM, what would you like the default of that activity to show as? You can make changes to these activities and what you've selected as the default is not the indecision, but this is just saying, what would I like it to default as? Because I probably use that the most. So do you want it to create an all day activity? What about the activity type or category? And how long would you like that activity to last? You can select a default between 15 and 90 minutes. Our next section is calendar management. How would you like to view your calendar? Would you like to see a day, a week, or a month at a time? And what day of the week would you like your calendar to start on? What time would you like your calendar to start and end? And would you like the time slots on your calendar to be 15, 30, or 60 minutes? You can also select defaults to show either yes or no for all day activities, completed activities, client reviews, seminars. You can decide if you want to show workflow target dates or workflow tasks. My favorite is that you can default to show client birthdays or marital anniversaries. You can also default to show any holidays as well as weekends. And this is the place where you allow iCal access. Next, we have our contact record. So within a contact record, would you like to hide or show the contact social security number and ID? This means that if we'd like to show that social security number and ID, you would see the full number displayed on a contact. If we select hide, you would still see the last four digits. However, anytime that you click to unhide the rest of those digits, that is recorded and you can contact our support team for a record of who is making those clicks. Our next section is the default document view. Would you like to see documents in CRM or in imaging? And our default note category, similar to activities, what default category would you like for your notes? And then the notes view. When you're within a contact, what type of notes would you like to view within that contact? I currently have mine to set up to view all types of notes. All right, and our next section is notification options. So how would you like to receive notifications for certain things within the CRM? This could be how you'd like to receive email notifications for activities like assigned activities, completed activities, or updated activities. As a workflow attendee, would you like to receive email notifications for assigned, updated, or completed workflows? And as a workflow owner, would you like to receive email notifications for assigned, updated, or completed workflows? Now this alert notification in minutes, would you like to be alerted 15 to 90 minutes ahead of an event? I have mine selected for 15 minutes, just long enough to get a cup of coffee or a snack and get settled back in before my next meeting. Now this alert sound, we can select for anything that you would like from none to a default to even having something like a small bell. 
Our last section is dashboard reminders. Now the reminders view is viewed on our today page. So from the today page, if we clicked on reminders, what would we like to see? You can select to view birthdays, client anniversaries, even wedding anniversaries and workflow reminders. This section is also asking you how many days in advance and past due would you like to see birthday, client anniversary and wedding anniversary reminders and how many days in advance and past due would you like to see client review reminders. Now our next section is email. We can select to either use external or internal. Now if we are using external, that means that when we click on an email address within the CRM, we are opening a separate window and utilizing the mail client on our computers. If we select to use internal, we are instead clicking on that email address and opening up a window within the CRM. Now in order to do this, you will need to authorize to link your email address and you may want to create an email signature or display name. Now this next section is really your outgoing server settings. If you need help finding this, you'll want to contact your IT department and get that information from them. Our next section is reports. Now with reports, this is in regards to creating a PDF within the system. So if you create a report and you would like to export that into a PDF, would you like it to have a display name by default as well as a default disclosure statement? So if so, you can enter that information here. And if you want that to print on a separate page of the PDF, simply tick that box. Now our last section is miscellaneous. We have two parts to this. We have our market watch list where you can separate these symbols with commas that you want to appear on your market watch list. Now from your market watch list, you can also add additional symbols without needing to come back to your preferences page. This last section is to submit bulk operation to a job if selected contacts exceeds this threshold. So what it is saying is, do I want this to run in the background or do I want this to happen right in front of me and not allow me to keep working while it's happening. So I have mine selected to go to a smaller threshold, that way that can run in the background and I can keep on working. Now obviously this is a lot of information and you may need some time to marinate. So if that is the case, feel free to always give us a call or reach out. You can go to the question mark here at the top of the page, but I truly hope that today we were able to take you from home chef to culinary connoisseur and we look forward to seeing you at Redtail University Live.